Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back with more Kingdom Hearts 3D. Yeah, we all back, all right. And uh, got my little uh, puff, uh, puff pupper over here, just uh, doing his own thing, I guess. All right, now let's get going. Now we kind of got that little part of the tutorial out of the way. Um, I'm going to be exploring a little bit, you know, as we go through this. Uh, oh, see, look, chest already. Bam. And we have Dream Eaters. Or Nightmares, I should say. I'm going to be calling them Nightmares. And then when... And we got... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say uh, fucking Nightmares when I see them. For when they're the bad guys. And most likely when I make a new, like, spirit, I'm going to call it a Dream Eater. I'm just going to warn that right now. Um, but... By the way, this is going to be, like, the new way of transportation. I'm just saying that. You're going to be able to see a lot of just, like, swinging all around. Oh. I tried rolling into it. Also, I... I oh, fuck. I fell off. But hey, I found a chest. And I can open it. Sweet. No waiting. And... That right there is a little... Basically power move you can do from the flow motion controls. And throw off. Wait, one had like that uh, thing going on with it. Oh, wait. What? Nah. Man. I didn't want to use a potion. But okay. But you know what I know something funny enough? Is when I very first played this game... I think I'm the 3DS. Um, I did not do anything with the Dream Eaters. I basically made a second one after Puff Pupper, and I called that a day. <laughs> like, I did not really do anything with them until, like, the last bit of the game. That's when I was all like, oh, so I can get better ones, huh? I don't know why I never did. I don't know if I was, like expecting the game to just kind of like tell me about making better ones up oh, and i got hit do a little have a little like uh controlling going on there got a little control ability and he got me with it again hit with it again wait till i get um i don't know what the hell i need to get to get out of that but wait till i get aerial recovery i'll be able to just air combo him like no other okay that is it but yeah i don't know why i never really focused on the dream eater like make like the making of the spirits part i just was like okay i got one maybe i'd go into it again and then it wasn't until late game that i was really like making a lot of dream eaters or a lot of spirits and that was kind of like i was like oh so that's why i'm kind of getting my ass kicked a lot in this game okay because i had a little like i think i was like the a lot of times i was getting kind of frustrated getting my like um, some things just being a little bit more difficult than I was used to, or something like that, and I was like, why the hell is this happening? Like, I was just, you know, wondering, like, what am I doing wrong? And I figured out late game, that's fucking why. I wasn't doing anything with the Dream Eaters. Then again, I don't really think you need to do it. I don't know, I just remembered, like, when I was playing the game, um, you know, I hear people, like, saying they got these awesome Dream Eaters, I'm like, oh, that's cool, I just have, like, this little guy with me. Maybe another one. And that was, like, it. But that, that is completely all on me. I don't know why I thought it was, like, a secret. And I just, like... I don't know. <laughs> don't, 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 don't look at... Don't, I don't, just don't. Just don't look at that. That was bad. That was no-no. Alright, what's up, Neku? I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. What's the matter, Neku? Okay, well, the thing is... I want to clarify. It's not like the game was hard or anything, but I was like... How do people get these awesome no dream eaters? I've just got these guys, and I never like put it together or putting the two together. I was like, that oh, whatever. I didn't really even care to do it. Don't it was a little bit difficult. Some things were a little bit difficult for me. I ain't gonna lie, but like, it wasn't really hard. It was just like, why am I kind of struggling a little bit here? Why am I so and then I kind of grinded a little bit. I was like, okay, now I'm a little bit better. I assumed that was it until late game. I realized, oh, you can get dream eaters that are better <laughs> and do different things. Oh, I didn't know that. And now, from Sora passing out, we switch over to Riku. By the way, like, this was one thing I actually was really excited about with playing, like, uh, 3D. The first time was, you got to play as Riku. I was like, what? Because I like Riku. You know, Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku is a little eh, because he's kind of just, he, I don't know, to me, he seems a little bit more whinier and whatnot. You know, maybe I should have gone for that other thing in the middle. And I completely missed that little point, but whatever. I don't care. 
Hey, give me that. And get out of here. I hit it. What the hell are you talking about? But I thought that was kind of cool. I'm like, oh, you get to play as Riku? Oh, it's so cool. I want to play as Riku. And I know you can play him in technically, you know, Chain of Memory, second part, which is reverse or birth, but come on, let's be real now. Okay, I thought I could get out of the way of that in time, but I couldn't. Whatever. Let's just go to the objective. We're done. Okay, we're not done. What? But it's a complete. What the hell? Okay. What the hell? I wasn't even there. It made me go to it, but it didn't give me, like, the thing. Whatever. I'm not caring. I'm not caring. I'm just trying to rush to this objective. But yeah, no, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm like, you actually get to play with as Riku in the actual style of, you know, fucking, like, Kingdom Hearts. No card game BS, no nothing like that. It was like, you just get to play as Riku. And I was like, oh, that's, that's fucking cool. Because I know, I, like, I wasn't the only one who really wanted to do that. And then Reverse Rebirth, which is the second part to Chain of Memories changed. after you beat it. But, like, that kind of gives you, like, a little thing. But it's like, Sora, not everyone wants to, like, where are you? I know I was one of the people who was like, not really a huge fan of the card game part. Hold up. Fixing my headset I remember over here. We fell it's kind of board after so Earth slipped off my head for whatever reason. And then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped yeah, into my hand. I just thought that was pretty cool. You get to like play as Riku in the actual like right. Kingdom Hearts style that we've known. I was like, I'm cool with that. But um. Wow. <laughs> Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world, that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Aw, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. <laughs> you know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. <laughs> but... Unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. There it is again. That little, like, record scratch. Always sounds cool. Unlock link portals. Little side objectives, basically. You can complete them. Like, they have you do certain tasks. Uh, and you just complete them. And, yeah, that's basically it, really. Get things for it. But, um... I was explaining something else before I got in the whole Riku thing, too. By the way, real quick. Another thing. I, I'm just jumping between so many different topics. This right here... I don't remember if this was actually, like, um, Lady and the Tramp, that's what it was, the movie. I don't remember if this was it originally in Kingdom Hearts 1, but if it was, I never knew that when playing, like, Kingdom Hearts 1. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, obviously, you don't go to Traverse Town, but I never knew that was Lady and the Tramp, if it was in Kingdom Hearts 1. It was up until this game that I'm like, wait, that's Lady and the Tramp. What? But, for all I know, that could have just been added in to this game, into, like, uh, 3D, Dream Drop Distance, and not, you know, the original one. And now we get to play as Riku. This is really pretty cool. Wow. But, um, yeah. Oh, the other thing I was talking about was, like, the whole, like, Dream Eater thing. For whatever, oh, yeah, just, uh, just to sum it up, I basically never did anything with the Dream Eater stuff. I have no idea why, I just didn't care to. And they, not that the game was hard, 
but some things were a little bit tricky for me, I guess, would be a way to do it. I was like, wait, having a little bit of a struggle here. Not, like, super hard, but, like, you know, it's just like, huh, what do I do here? Or, like, what, what am I doing wrong here? And I just assumed just grind up. I'd grind up a little bit, and I'd be like, okay, I guess I got it now. But it was kind of the Dream Eater thing. And I think that was it, because it was, like, Dream Eaters, you could get better ones, different ability ones, and whatnot, like that. By the way, it's our first Link Portal. Which is a little bit different. Is, um, but yeah, that was basically it. So, this game, I'm going to be doing the whole Dream Eater bit. Which, actually, can I create a spirit right now? No, I can't right now. Can't do it yet. They're going to have to show me it with Riku later. Okay, so this is a Link Portal. Which is a lot different than the 3DS version. The 3DS version would be you had a mini-map on your bottom screen. And it would be a little, like, pink star. Kind of looking like that. Except, like, you know, flat and on the map. And it'd be like, that would be your Link Portal. That's where you would know. It never was like out in the open like this. So let's do our first link portal. Why not? Uh, open this link portal. Friendship patrol. Um, borrow these spirits. Uh, the spirits will return home after a certain amount of time. And that's just basically it. And now we get these. Can I? Is there anything to fight here? Nope. Okay. So yeah, they're just out of time. Can I bring them with me to a different spot though? That's the main question I have right now. Can I bring them with me here? Oh, Joshua, can't see them. Why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. I had a Freak friend is like, I'm not a human being, though. who said he never dreamed of anything, but it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. Yep, here we go. Alright, and so Riku gets to make a different dream eater than Sora. Uh, try creating a new spirit so we go to the uh, create spirit and riku's isn't gonna be the little puff guy like the little meow wow or whatever the hell it thing's name was meow wow, i think it was but i call him puff pupper he, we get to make a bat or the komori bat hold up sorry about the never mind i'm not i feel like i'm gonna sneeze but i'm not I, I jinxed it i jinxed it no wonder why i didn't come out i jinxed my own sneeze damn it fuck me whatever Okay, yeah, create this. Let's create this damn spirit. I'm pissed. Now we have the Komori Bat. Look at the little guy. Look at him. Um. I kind of have a name. Um. For him. I kind of want to call him Mighty Bitey. I don't know why, but the other name, I, the original name I wanted to give him was The Knight for like Batman. I am the Knight. I am the Batman. Like that. But I don't think I want to do it anymore. I think I want to call him Mighty Bitey. Wait a minute. Can I fit that? No, I'm not going to be able to fit that. That's ridiculously long. I was going to name him Mighty Bitey or Knight with Bite. Huh. Hold up. Okay, so I'm deciding to call him Night Bite, as in the Knight, as in the Batman, and then Bite because I, whatever reason I got the name Mighty Bite. He's got them little fangs, so his name is Night Bite. Wait, what? This contains a restricted character combination. Excuse me? What? Restricted bite. You can't have the word bite. I can't have the word bite. Are you kidding me? Or is it night? What the hell is wrong with night? N i g h t b a t. What? Excuse me. This contains a restricted character combination. What in the fuck does that even mean? All 
Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, that works! Why couldn't I have the space in there? Looks like you and Nightbite are off to a great start. I do not know why I had to add that stupid dash in there. Whatever that space, that space made it to where uh, I couldn't put the words Joshua. Night Bite. Mm -hmm. And I have no Once idea I why. You down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? Oh, black what? coats immediately triggers. I'm telling you, Riku triggered. A friend of our enemy. Triggered by that word. He's like, black coat. That's like, organization. Triggered! Ain't gonna work. Let's go! Three meters! What? Ugh, man, not cool. <laughs> Did it just run over to be my friend? Linking tutorial. Linking with spirits. Um, nah, skip that. Skip that. I don't want to sit through another tutorial. I don't know. Oh, whoa, it went to fight me. Beat, dog. Why are you summoning nightmares, though? And sliding dash, and... And... Okay, there we go. Cool. I want to get the big explosion one, which I got to do, like... Okay, um... How do I, how do, I do this one again? Okay, so I have to run here, jump up, and then... Crash! That's how you do it. And that's how we finished it, too. Uh, you know what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. I know the feeling. Uh, why am I suddenly so sleepy? I like how they're not caring that he's like passing out. All right, let's view the flashback. But I like how they're just standing there like, the hell is he rocking back and forth for? Long he's ago, okay though, don't worry about it. In the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light. A gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, Equal balance, baby. some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon you know, the designed yin yang. to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. What are you getting all like clenching of the fist for? The, the, the fuck? Seems a little weird. Seems really weird, but whatever. I'm not Riku. I'm Sora! See? <laughs> gotcha. Where is he? Huh? 
They're both gone. You're gone. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. Yeah, especially since he went up and defended you. I never you. even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. So my question is, when did Neku and the guy in the black coat make a deal, though? Okay. Here comes the most annoying thing about this fucking game. And honestly, I hate it. The drop mechanic. Dropping between characters. In this game, you will alternate between Sora and Riku to progress through the story. Dropping between characters. To drop or switch between characters, just select drop on the pause screen or the main menu. I'm sorry, not the drop mechanic itself. This! This is what I'm talking about I hate. This is a stupid mechanic. The drop gauge continues to decrease as you explore the field. Drop speed. Sleep and other negative statuses will cause your drop cage to drain more quickly. When the gauge runs out, you will enter bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After bonus time ends, you will drop into the next character. Now, here's my problem with this. They could have easily done this as, when you complete a world with a character, you to switch to the other one. Because after you complete that world, you've fallen asleep. Then you wake up, ready to move into the next world, after you go, like, you know, back and forth. And also help keep the story in a good, like, line. Because honestly, you could play this in a weird order than technically its real order. In fact, I don't even know how to do its real order. That's the weird, like, it's, it's a, also infuriating due to the fact that you can get into a boss fight. And that drop gauge could drop you in the middle of that boss fight. So say you're about to beat it, but you drop right before you can finish it. It's just so annoying. And yes, you can get items to bring back up the drop gauge to basically being full. It's like a potion for your drop gauge, you know, just, it's called drop me not. But why did they even make that? Like, it's really, it makes it a little bit more confusing and a little frustrating and it's more of a hindrance. It's a really annoying gimmick, in my opinion. I just personally think it would have been better. Oh, we have high potions, but uh, I'm not really gonna use those right now because I don't need to. I don't know. I personally just do not see a use for it. Um, if someone could tell me like what it's actually like a good purpose for that in the comments, um, I'd appreciate that because honestly. From what I see, I just see it as a really annoying gimmick, personally. And I'm not a fan of it. Honestly, like, before when they were showing this game, they were, like, showing some screenshots of, um, basically, like, uh, w with the game, but it didn't have the drop gauge. I was like, oh, thank God, it's gone. Nope, apparently it was, it, it was, uh, it was just waiting. It, it was just lurking and waiting. That's really <coughs> annoying. Uh, that's gonna be a little frustrating to deal with, but we'll be fine. We'll 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 do it. We got it. Get that freeze, boy. Get get out of here. Wait, let's uh reality shift this dude. Let's reality shift this dude. Stone over by this chest. Body. Oh, puff pupper leveled up. What up? What you got? A block it chocolate. Okay, so you that one just rhymed. That's all that one was. Which I'm cool with. Oh, see, there's no. Okay, you wanna hit me? You wanna hit me? You wanna hit me? You wanna hit me? Damn, that goes far. Oh, I missed. Scrub. I'm a scrub. Fire. There we go. Is there anything around here? Oh, there's these, these guys. And bang. Oh my God, not that way. Wait, did we get them all? Oh wow, we did get them all. Cool. All right, cool. So no need to worry about that. Whoa, 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 okay then. Whoa, what's up with this? Your spirit seems to be onto something. Oh. I was just opening the door. See, I didn't want to do anything. Well, I looked at it, I'm like, I can't do anything with it. We need lightning. No, apparently you just gotta hit it. Just 
Hit it with the Keyblade. It's all good. I don't know why. I thought I could do something. Oh, you guys are back. You guys are back, I see, huh? Hell out of here. Oi! Reality shift. Uh, uh, that's good. Right there. Bang! There we go. Sweet. Oh, only one of you survived? Only one of you survived? Smash! Did I get him? Oh, and we got the little link thing here now. Uh, yeah, why not? You know, the one thing I didn't check is how do I link? Uh, oh, that's how. Okay. So it's just side on the... The way I'm going to link with, like, my Dream Eaters is you go... You hit the left. You hit the left on the D-pad, and that's how you can do it. Now I should switch back. There's a chest up here. Alright, cool. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. And I guess we're going to go through here. First district. Now, do those Dream Eaters come with me? Um... Oh, God. Nope, Dream Eaters are gone. Examine. Well, then. That's interesting, isn't it? We'll come to that in a sec. Gotta clear up these guys. Oh, there's a little link thing here. You can tell by how it's like got this little objective like thing here. Let's do a little combination attack with little Puff Pupper here. Crush! 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 That's right. Where you going? Think I'm done with you? I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. Come here. Nope. No, you don't. Oh, I hit both of them. Sweet. Slide into him. Oh, my God. He just fucking, like, snuffed the shit out of me. Nope. Can I get rid of you? Oh, I thought I threw him into you. Whoa, did you do that? Well, shit. Puff Pupper. All right. Fucking tackled the shit out of him. Good job. Proud of you. Alright. What is this one? Defeat all the spirits. Well, okay. At least flow motion attacks. Okay. One. Bang. Can I... Can I get onto the pole? And... Bang! Okay. So then you want to... Go into this guy. And... Bang! Okay. And then you want to... Jump here, jump there, and bang! And I think I missed everyone. Hit him! There we go. And we did it. Challenge complete. Pretty pretty simple for, like, kind of a first one with challenge to it. Not, like, an actual challenge, but, like, you know, how, like, technically our first one was getting the three little uh, spirits, but, like, that wasn't really anything. You just get them. It doesn't really do anything, though. Yeah. But, um, I'm going up here because I want to save. But first, I want to clear out these Heartless because you can't get to the save point if you don't. Which, by the way, this is the first game that ever, like, in a save point area, there can be, like, Heartless to attack. Which is kind of cool. A little weird, but, yeah, see, he's freaking out at the fire. Kind of cool, but also sometimes annoying. So you just want to be like, I just want to save and stop. I got to take a break. Or something like that, and you know, just heartless show up, and it's like, okay, really? Okay, but well, here, let's talk to this shop guy real quick. Bye. Um, no, you do not have what I'm looking for right now. At least not right now. I'm looking for a specific spell. Well, most people are gonna know what I'm talking about. Well, I didn't even describe it. I'm just that—that that was the worst assumption of all time. Well, basically, I'm trying to get cure. You know, get that heal going. It'll be good. Anyways, this is going to be it for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Wherever you go, I'm always with you.